So on this project, we actually had a larger team than we would normally run. We needed the extra uh, resource and work put in on the project because it was such a major undertaking for us. So there are three different engines in the new Bonneville family. We have the 900cc engine going into the Street Twin, and then we have a 1200cc engine as the high torque engine going into the Bonneville T120 and T120 Black. And we've got the high power 1200 engine, which is also low inertia, going into the Thruxton and the Thruxton R. So the low inertia engine gives us several benefits for the Thruxton and the Thruxton R. It's taking weight out and it's taking inertia out of the crankshaft and several other key engine components. This makes the engine more responsive, so it'll blip and it'll rev faster, it'll get up to speed quicker. But it also actually helps the overall chassis package as well. The bike will handle better with a low inertia engine. But it is quite important to get the inertia right, which is why we've maintained a higher inertia in the Bonneville T120 and T120 Black. The higher inertia does help smooth out some of the power pulses as they're transmitted to the rider. So it can give you a more uh, refined ride, which would be more what's expected on something like the Bonneville. So to get the DNA of the Bonneville coming through on the engine, we actually had to start with a lot of the design cues right at the start of the project. It was really important to get the overall engine proportions uh, fundamentally right. This meant we had to go through loops of redesigning crank and pistons. On some models, we would look at things like tooling splits, the way that we would split a tool as it appears over a, a certain feature on the engine. And we might try and hide that on some modern engines. But in this case, it was a case of trying to make it more genuine and authentic. It's accepted that you're going to have tooling split lines. These are cast lumps of, of aluminium and steel. With the Bonneville, it was uh, important that we didn't just engineer a power plant and then put it in a bike and apply styling afterwards. That wouldn't have worked. So there's quite a lot of differences in the styling between each of the engines to go into each of the models, really to bring out the different characteristics that we needed. In some cases, this is just finishes of things like engine covers, exhaust system as well. So for example, on the T120 Black, it was important to have a black exhaust system, but this isn't just a black paint, it's about getting a high temperature paint and a high wear resistance in that as well. The difference between the contemporary and the classic bike required different engineering solutions. It was really important to get a clean, unbroken line on these bikes and certainly compared to maybe the last generation of Bonneville we had a little bit more of a kink in the exhaust system and we've managed to completely iron that out now with the uh, the new Bonneville T120. So one of the benefits we get by having the uh, ride-by-wire system is that we're able to tune the responsiveness of the engine in each of the different models so we can have a slightly more responsive and sharper ride on the Thruxton and the Thruxton R we can have a more refined ride on the Bonneville T120. So for the Street Twin, we were aiming at an engine package that would be rideable and accessible. It would still give you a really exciting ride, but it would perhaps be more manageable for newer and younger riders. In terms of power and performance, it was really about getting the torque right for each of these models it, to give you the right feel and the right drive. In comparison to the outgoing model on the Street Twin, we're looking at 18% more torque. So on the 1200cc engine, we've also got the Bonneville T120, where we've got over 50% more torque than the outgoing model. And then on the Thruxton and the Thruxton R, we've got over 55% more torque than the outgoing models. This torque is generated at really low engine speeds. We're talking between three and three and a half thousand RPM. And it gives a lot more progressive ride and a lot more excitement on the road. It's a lot more usable. So there's some modern technology we needed to involve in this project right at the outset. It became very clear. But the challenge is to make that integrated and not uh, impact on the overall lines and the size and the styling of the bike. Best example of that will be liquid cooling, where we've gone to a properly water-cooled head and barrels. Um, this was necessary to meet things like emissions and also deliver a more refined ride to the rider. So liquid cooling obviously brought us a good few challenges. Um, we've obviously got the oil water pump, which we've mounted internally in the engine to try and keep that hidden. We've got coolant hoses we now need to package on the bike. With the radiator, we obviously had an oil cooler on the outgoing model. And the oil cooler was positioned in the same place and a very similar proportion. So actually the overall look of the bike we don't think has fundamentally changed at all. We've just got a more efficient cooling system now. So one of the advantages we get with ride by wire is we've been able to put rider modes on all of the 1200s. So we've got a normal mode and a rain mode. It's about giving the riders more confidence to ride the bike as they want to. And then on the Thruxton and the Thruxton R we've got a sport mode as well which quickens the throttle response. It's not in the rider's face, they don't have to use these things, but it does just give them the ability to ride the bike with confidence and just enjoy the ride. So as well as the rider modes on the 1200s, all of the bikes have got traction control. And again, it's about giving the rider control and confidence. So to summarise what these bikes bring to the new Bonneville family, for me it's always been about how you would actually approach the bike. So you see the bike, 
and it looks fantastic. You really just want to get on and ride it just from the looks of the bike. And then you start it and you've got that wonderful sound. Unique to each of the different bikes, but it's just inspiring for you to go out and get on the bike and take it for a ride. And then you do get on the bike and you ride it and the feel and the ride is sensational. It's just excellent fun.